This is Everyday Grammar. I'm Kaveh. And I'm Lucia. I came up with a new game. It's called Only That Continent. Okay, how does it go? I give you two definitions and you figure out which contronym it is. Okay. This word means to permit or to restrict. Ah, uh, the answer is sanction. Correct. One point for you. Next, these words mean to supply or an end to supplies. Uh, I'll go with issue. Nope. The answer we're looking for is give out. You lose 10 points. Wait, how does this game work again? We are literally sure you've heard of contronyms before. Contronyms are words that have opposite meanings. They can be frustrating, but I have a great tip for identifying the right meaning of a contronym. Carefully consider the context of the sentence with the contronym. Let's go over some common contronyms and how they are used. Buckle your seatbelt. The bridge buckled in the earthquake. The fire alarm went off. The fire alarm is off. Amy overlooks the building project. Sam overlooked his math homework. I only have a $20 bill. Can I get the bill, please? So you still haven't explained to me how your game works. Oh, we're out of time. And that's Everyday Grammar. <laughs>